All right, my chalk talk uh, deals with basketball as well. Brian McCormick touched on a couple things basketball-wise as far as the three-man weave. Uh, my five-man weave is a little bit more detailed than what we discuss and how we do things as far as the um, as far as the variability and the paint fundamentals are concerned. When we look at the five-man weave, we have one guy here, two, three, four, and five. So when we do this, we'll look at it again with no defense. Same thing as what Brian discussed. So it's nobody here to defend, so it gives you a fake idea of what's really going on. So when we run this five-man weave, we'll have these guys coming out to collect these passes, going down the court ultimately to get a, get a, get a shot or a bucket. We're doing one pass, go behind, one pass, go two behind, one pass, go two behind, so on and so forth until we weave our way to the actual goal, okay? And the same thing goes uh, back to the other, other goal. Uh, in the five on four drill, the way the difference is in the variability is that in the five on four, you actually have defenders free throw line extended, okay? So if the coach, is standing here and he says calls out the three man for example so the person who has to check him has to touch the baseline before he comes back down the court okay this x checks him this x checks him so on and so forth as they go down the court you have this this three man who had to come and touch the baseline to either get back to his man well, if this man takes his man, he has to call out and go to go to his man. If he takes his man, this three man has to go to his man now. They have to get back on, in transition defense to stop the ball to make sure they don't score. Get back in a half court set to be able to do something court wise, game speed, game type situation to make sure that they're, on, they're all on the same page. The difference in these two, I couldn't find many differences in the articles plus um, for the, in the Ohio Library, but what I did find in the Rink Book, page one hundred nine through one hundred eleven is the four stages that we discussed in the rig book um, about the content analysis and development. So in stage one, they talk about the conjunctions of passing and dribbling, uh, but it's not a real, it's a fake fundamental because it's not, in the five-man weave is not giving you a true understanding of how to play defense based on that transition offense. In the five-on-four drill, you have actual defenders here that's forcing you to be able to make a play in a full game type, game speed situation so that touches on stages three and four as far as uh, offense and defensive strategies against the dribble uh, with defenders actually out there. The compare and contrast of it is to understand based on what you have between the two that if I have defenders on me, it gives me a more real time, real life aspect of what they expect when I get out on the court and how to respond, react, where to dribble, who to pass to, who to communicate with. Uh, with the uh, five on four drill, that is actually there. In the, in the, uh, in the uh, five-man weave drill or the three-man weave drill, that's not existing. All right, thanks.